Yo, what is going on, guys? It is the Shady Max, and you're back from the video. And today, today we are back for our week two um, team prep versus uh, Sarah Sarah Bear, aka the Jolie at Lycan Rocks. Now, if you guys do enjoy, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button. But um, we're just gonna hop right into it. We are coming off a 3L loss versus the Las Vegas Gladiators and Nueva Nation. Make sure to go check him out in the description below, or check out our battle down there um the playlist for this uh season three of hi will be down in the description below uh like it is always and also make sure to go check out our opponent down in the description but she is also coming off a 3-0 loss um versus our good friend Seabass. so we're gonna try our hardest to come back here um i have faith in this team that we have here um so we're just gonna see if we can't pull out this um dub so we're just gonna hop right into it. Um, as you can see, our team here um, is Bikini, Amungus, Jolteon, Primarina, Reggie Steel, Sneasel, Landers Eye, Gengar, Tyrantrum, Golbat, and Hitmonchan. While Sarah's team is um, Karen Black, the scary Karen Black, Lolan Luck, Espeon, Palisand, Vickable, Magmordar, Scissor, Blissey, Crustle, Gramble, and the Sea King. Within our team, the first thing I really noticed was that she has a lot of offensive uh, pressure, um, a lot of, uh, or not or not offensive pressure, but a lot of special attack uh, presence on her team um, in comparison to her physical presence, because if you look, all she really has is her Alolan Muck, her um, Alolan Muck, her Scissor, her Karen Black can carry a Fusion Bolt, it can be uh, physical, but it's probably going to be mixed. If anything, it probably won't just be uh, primarily physical because of its ice coverage. Ice physical coverage uh, is kind of lacking. Um, Scizor and Crustle and Gramble. That's really all compared to her um, special present. Like I said, uh, primarily Kieran Black, Espeon, Palos, Invicable, Magmordar, Blissey, and yeah. Um, she had a little nine tails before, but she did drop it this week for Gramble, which once again would have added on to it. But a huge thing I definitely saw was the Karen Black, so I decided to uh shoot. Thanks, showdown. <laughs> it's just gonna reload this real quick. There we go. Um we see we're gonna have here Hitmonchan, the um or pacifist the Hitmonchan, only assault fest with the iron fist, a little fifty male. Um, the reason I decided to run Assault Vest is because if you look over here at its stats, it has a really, really good special defense, and, uh, and on top of that, with the Assault Vest, it'll just be able to hit very, very hard. Um, I decided to bring Drain Punch, and I brought Drain, Drain Punch over close combat, because one, we won't get the defense drops, and two, two, we'll be able to recover HP, and three, in, I believe, most cases, if not all of them, um, we... To a KO with Drain Punch on most mons, um, as well as we would have to a KO uh, most mons with close combat as well, um, other than Fire Punch and Bullet Punch doing to other things such as the Scissor. So I just decided that Drain Punch would be better. Um, I decided to run near focus because the other two were kind of um, like it didn't really matter, and then uh, plus these three moves are boosted by Iron Fist, or I don't know about Bullet Punch, but I definitely know that Drain Punch and Fire Punch is. But we have Drain Punch, obviously, for our main stab. Fire Punch for the Scizor and the Vicavolt. And that seems to be all. And the Bullet Punch for priority and also to maybe hit, like, Gramble. Um, and it's just priority overall. And then Rapid Spin to get rid of Hazards. As you see, a couple of our team is kind of weak to Hazards. Prim um, primarily the uh, uh, Victini up here, which we'll get to. Max HP, max attack. There's nothing I really need to speed creep because nothing on our team was really around here. Um, so I decided to run none. I ran max HP, max attack, adamant with four and spadef. Next we have Registall here, our Registill um, with the Shaka Berry clear body because we did not need light metal because none of our team really has low kick um, or would use low kick. So I decided to run clear body instead. Um, Iron Head, obviously for stab, and it hits her team pretty hard. Um, nothing on her team really resisted. I don't believe Vickable resisted. It might, though. Palosan might, Magmordar, Scizor, and that's all. 
and seeking but i don't really see her bringing seeking although actually scarf seeking might not be bad um if she actually brings it it would have registall would be her switching i guess um iron head thunder wave stealth rock and rest um thunder wave obviously has slowed down a lot of her team um stealth rock because it really cripples like the kieran black um it cripples the what else does it cripple um or what does it do a lot against or the stealth rocks um i guess the crustle Mega Mortar, the Vicka Volt, which is going to be Volt switching out a lot. And on top of that, she doesn't really have too much hazard removal. She has, obviously, the Magic Bounce on Espeon. I believe Defog Scissor is all. Yeah, it's only Defog Scissor. Pal Vicka Volt might get it, but I don't believe it does. I don't believe it gets Defog. So that's not bad. And then Ref just to kind of try to stall out a little bit longer, if possible. Next we have Tyrantrum here, a Palmasaur, the Tyrantrum, um, holding the stone plate. I didn't really see anything that we needed to bring on this. I originally ran wide lens, but I decided I would stone edge might be a little or stone plate would be better. Head smash, crunch, rock polish, and hunk claws. Um, I'm running rock polish rock polish is my main setup, like that's the thing I'd want to set up first if I were to start setting up. Because if I were to set up one rock polish, I can easily 2KO, if not OKO, anything on her team after and outspeed everything on her team other than the Scarf Espeon after one rock polish, which I doubt she'd bring Scarf Espeon. And then has smash either 2KOs or completely OKOs anything on her team other than the Palo Sand, which is why I brought Crunch, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yep, that's all. Either two KOs or Okos for the fellow slam, which is why we have Crunch. Um, and Hulk Clone Claws is there because if we can set up one, then that kind of negates the Grambles Intimidate, and it also raises the accuracy of Head Smash, which would be really good. 244 um, Speed Creeps, a Scarf Karen Black, a Max Speed Scarf Karen Black, after, after we Rock Polish up, we'll speed it. Um, max attack, adamant, and then 12 in HP because we have a little bit left over. Next, we have Joseph Stalin here, our lander's eye with our extra belt. I wanted something to boost its attack, but I didn't really want to run life orb because I know that would kind of not really be good because it would bring us back, um, or it would be residual damage. And I know I don't exactly have the best defenses in the world, and with that big ice weakness, it's not going to help me at all because I know she's going to bring HP ice on some of those mons. Um, sheer force, obviously, because once again, we're not a sand team. Earthquake, knockoff, rock slide, and sword stance. After one sword stance, we are able to 2 KO all, all of our team. Uh, EQ, obviously, for our main stab. Knockoff, just knock off any items. And to hit the Espeon hard, Palisand hard. Uh, yeah, those two get hit hard. And then rock slide for the Vicavolt. And possibly for the Karen Black. Um, and Mordor, although it gets hit by EQ, Russell, yeah, just those. Um, so that's what we're running. 212 speed Jolly, that speed creeps a max speed. Um, uh, Karen Black, 252 attack, 4 in the defenses because it had 8 left over, and 36 in HP. Next we have Plum Hero, holding our Twist Scarf. Um, Plumber Gengar, uh, with the Cursed Body, obviously. Book Splash, Shadow Ball, Sledge Bomb, and Trick. Focus Blast to hit the uh, Kieran Black um, and I guess the Blissey, just those two. Uh, Shadow Ball for Stab uh, just hits most things very, very hard. And then also, obviously, the Sludge Bomb. Um, most and anything, or the only thing that we can't really touch too hard would be the Alolan Muck if you use a V and the Blissey because just special defense is really high as well as the there's one more the scissor but rather than bring hp fire for the scissor i decided to bring trick because if i can trick uh blissey because i definitely see blissey being a um counter to me um that might not be a bad idea as well as maybe tricking uh i mean i think that's like the only thing i would want to trick if i'm being honest just that blissey but I'd have to make sure that's her Blissey swap in first. Um, 252 speed, I modest. 
that I believe speed um, outspeeds a timid Kieran Black, so I'm good there. 252 attack, modest, and then four inch spadef. And this is where kind of the heat of our team kind of comes in, no pun intended. We have the A Palm here, Arvik Teeny, holding the leftovers with the Victory Star, obviously. Recreate, substitute, power punch, blue flare. Um, I decided to bring the set because I only need Fire Stab for Victini on this team because we create two KOs, if not Okos, anything on her team. And if I can set up a sub, then proceed to get the kill next turn. So let's say it's Victini out on Karen Black, who's at like 30% and can't take a V create, and I know I outspeed her, then. I could go for a sub as she swaps out to conserve Karen Black, and it, she brings in maybe I don't know Palisan. I'm she I doubt she would because it's not a very good option. Although it does have some nice uh, phys physical defense, um, I could do that and I'd get a free sub up, and I'd be able to V create once, and that would just be good. Uh, being able to V create, get a kill. And then I would have my minus defenses and minus speed, but I'd still have my sub up. Um, assuming that I killed whatever she sent in, which would be great. Power punch to get um, our attack up, um, just because why not? If I can get my attack up uh, because of the intimidate gramble, that might not be a bad idea. And then blue flares there, because the only thing I cannot 2 a KO is a defensive intimidate gramble, like I said. So blue flare 2 a KO is it. I have max attack, max. Um, 36 in special attack because I had that left over and then 220 in speed hasty because that guarantees me to um, outspeed a max speed here in black uh, this is the team we're bringing here um, I'm feeling really confident in about two hours as of recording this I'm gonna have the battle I don't have my battles on Saturday and Sunday obviously but hopefully all goes well let me know what you guys would have changed if uh, you were the ones battling, what you would have brought. We'll see what's happening. Um, but anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this has been the JMX.